Dell Vostro 200. Um, I don't know how it ended up over here. That's um, a Vostro. Oh, oh, it is oh there is two. Yeah. What? Mike, what number Vostro, or what? what which... I think this is the 200, I think. Isn't it? The keyboard isn't working when you plug it in. Yeah, this, this is the Vostro 200, right? Yeah, it is. There's two. He's he's working on saw 225. That's saw 217. Oh, interesting. So that's what its fan rev sounds like. Man, what a fan rev for a small machine, huh, guys? So yeah, so we've got. Now, if you notice, this is kind of odd. I've never seen. If you notice how there are there are USB ports and headphone jacks on the fr on um, eighth jacks on this for speakers. But then if you move this thing up, you can actually hide those, which I don't know why, I don't know why the hell anybody would want to do that, but you can. That's kind of a cool feature of this 200. However, it seems to have a bit of a problem because as you heard, well, actually, wait, no, you didn't hear because um, he wasn't, I wasn't filming. But so yeah, so you guys didn't hear Lucky mention that the keyboard wasn't working. And whoa, what a bit of an exhaust, uh, whew, wow. Oh, that, wow, interesting. So, holy crap, so there's quite a, a rather interesting fan back there. Ooh. And that's weird, it, like, it's all tingly when you touch it. It's got a weird, weird feeling to, and that, oh, wow. Okay, seriously, why are there so many, so many 3.5 millimeter jacks on this computer? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, two, like six uh, jacks on, on this thing. And funnily enough, there's, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a, U, I don't know if that's a USB. There's definitely some interesting uh, ports on the back. Wow, there's more exhaust on the side of this thing. That's interesting. So that is the, whoops, so that is a, so that's a Dell Vostro 200. So now I should probably get back to this, this, uh, XPS 400 that I was working on over here. I kind of get distracted. So anyway, I will be back in a bit.